the introduction of CAR T cell therapy is clearly a breakthrough in uh, the field of hematology in general. Uh, first approval uh, came in the field of acute lymphoblastic leukemia, then we had non-Hodgkin lymphoma, and more recently we've seen uh, two CAR T cell uh, constructs uh, being approved in relapse refractory multiple myeloma, namely uh, ID cell and SILTA cell. And the results are really appealing, and these constructs are providing uh, a lot of uh, uh, benefit to many patients who are in need. Uh, however, the use of CAR T cells requires a multidisciplinary team because it's not only about the indication itself by the myeloma doctor, it's also about collecting the T cells, so the aphoresis process. It's also about the need for a lymphodepleting agent, a sort of a preparative conditioning uh, regimen, and we usually use these days fludarabin cyclophosphamide. But we also know, although the incidence of these side effects in multiple myeloma, for instance, is relatively low, and the severity is relatively low, but uh, because of the neurotoxicity, you definitely need the support and contribution of a neurologist who is familiar with these complications. Of course, the ICU colleagues are involved on board because of the risk of CRS, the cytokine release syndrome, but you have also, uh, you need the uh, contribution, among many others, of course, of the infectious uh, disease uh, uh, teams uh, because of the risk of hypogammaglobulinemia uh, on a chronic basis. So these are just a few examples where I highlight the need of different specialities, different contributors, and of course, uh, the all other healthcare professionals. So you would clearly envision that uh, administration of a CAR T cell therapy is like, in my opinion, an orchestra where you have several instruments, several musicians, and then all of this needs to be orchestrated, needs to be coordinated in order to achieve a successful uh, treatment.